This is unboxing of a filter. Let's open and see what is inside. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is a filter. It's a UHC ultra high contrast filter for two inch telescopes, eyepieces. So let's see what range it will let pass uh, or block. It's made in China, of course, as you can see, China, Chinese will be the next language of science. And exactly, it will be uh, in the green area. It will be letting pass, and the rest of it, green, blue, the rest of it will be blocked. So, 450 to around, uh, yeah, practically, yeah, 480 to 530 or 20, 30, yeah. If you pass and a little bit also in that inch. And so, without further ado, let's see what is inside. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful printer. Case is beautiful. How can I open this? I can just use both my hands. Okay, now look at this. Isn't it lovely? It's so reflective. Practically blocks all the unnecessary light. Let's look through this. Oh, everything looks blue when you look through it. So that's the way everything should look. That's the way. Oh, completely blocks the red, it seems to me. And brings out the greens and blues. Oh, I like that. Look at the Orion Nebula. You definitely see more intensity in the Orion Nebula than this picture. So, we will see how it is on the real thing, because it's just a photograph. Uh, I'm waiting, looking forward to see a night with a clear night, so testing it on the two inch eyepiece. Let's just attach it to, a, for, for the sake of the experiment, attach it to a two inch eyepiece. This is my Max Vision uh, Pineapple 40 millimeter uh, eyepiece, 68 degrees. And let's attach this uh, filter to it. Hey, my wife is asking, can I come in? Yes, you can come in. You want a lemonade? Okay. That's the eyepiece. And now let's look through it. Anyway, very impressive. So we have now finally a two inch uh, filter for our two-inch eyepieces and it looks beautiful. And 
I will use it in the first opportunity that there is a clear sky on the Orion Nebula, probably. Wow, I use that uh, ultra high contrast filter 2 inch one on this Max Vision 28 millimeter eyepiece. Oh, the Nebula M42 jumped into the view. Amazing. Never expected such a um, you know difference. It almost doubled the brightness of the Nebula. As you can see, we have a relatively medium to thick and sometimes thinner cloud cover so practically it's very difficult to see anything but this <laughs> ultra high contrast uh, made a big difference with the telescope really impressive I love this Max Vision eyepieces. They give such a lovely view. One of the best for observing the Orion Nebula itself and the trapezium is this 24 uh, degrees, uh, 24 millimeter one. I wish I had a 22 or 20 millimeter one. I have not seen it yet. Uh, Explore Scientific is the same, but. Uh, it doesn't have that good, nice feeling of this rubber uh, holding, thing. and the size of the glass is enormous. Anyway, it's such a beautiful thing when you look at it. Trapezium in all of them are sharp, edge to edge. This moment I'm looking around the star Al Nitak in the Orion constellation. is one of the la is the last one uh, in the three stars of the belt of Orion and a little bit down toward the south I see a lot of nebulosity this is the max vision uh, 28 mm, 24 millimeter eyepiece and I'm using the uh, a two inch of course this is a two inch eyepiece and I'm using a two inch ultra high contrast uh, filter I see a lot of new nebulosity this is an 8 inch uh, LX200, the classic one. The sky is not very. Uh, yeah, it's quite dark actually. We are now quite dark and the clouds have cleared. I see a lot of nebulosity. A lot of nebulosity, a lot of dark streaks. Which one of them is the horsehead nebula? It's not very clear because. Uh, what I'm doing, uh, I should show you. I'm using this cover to put over my head, so I'm practically really get it back that. And uh, after adaptation of my eye, I can see a lot of nebulosity, especially with averted vision, they're very visible. What is funny is that in those nebulosity, I see a lot of dark streaks. It's not one, it's more than probably six. Maybe the uh, darkest streaks I see around, they're scattered all over the place. It's easy to see actually, actually around the Al Nitak to see itself, the nebula there, uh, which is a flame nebula. Is that that is definitely easy? It's easy. So you don't need even dark adaptation for seeing that. I may be exceptional. I have a probably exceptional eye vision. Thanks God. But the horsehead nebula, I've heard that is very difficult. You need at least 11 inch to telescope to see that. And this 8 inch I can see it with the help of the ultra high contrast and I, as I told I'm putting a shroud over my head so um, I will be completely dark adapter and as you can see I'm also using for this video I'm using a, a red torch which is on my head actually and you can see it now better. So 
It's a very exceptional seeing, and I really like this Max Visions. I think Max Visions are the best eyepieces I've ever had, and they are not expensive. And they are the best uh, for the price, and comparable or even better than the ones that they tell of you, Nagler and Ethos and others, so a fan of you. And I really am enjoying this. Visual astronomy is definitely a good way of better understanding because I've seen a lot of overexposed. Actually, I was looking on the on the eyepiece and comparing with what I can see in the mobile phone pictures. The images that you see, I should say, actually images. The images you see are overexposed. The stars are not what you see actually in this. Of course, they're reverse in the Schmidt category in the reverse. But again, they are not ex they are not what you will see in the eyepiece. The stars in the images you see are overexposed, they're big, huge. What you see uh, in the real world is different, They're more like a drawing. If you want to draw it, you have to draw it more carefully. Of course, drawing with different telescopes give you different views. That's the problem. So you have to make your own drawing. And I'm going to actually gradually go toward the visual observation drawing.